Hey everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back. So today it's the end of June. I'm going to do a um, May and June collective haul. It's not a lot. I didn't buy um, a ton. I hardly bought anything in May, so I didn't do a video. Um, but I did buy a bit more in June. So let's start with supplies. I bought a full set. I don't know how many colors that is. 30 something maybe of these Bic permanent markers. They're just called Bic permanent. They're the fine as opposed to the ultra fine. They're, you know, they've got a pretty wide, or they can be, they can be fine, but you can color on the side and have a wider tip. Um, I already have the, the, um, Big marking ultra fine, which is just the ultra fine version of these. They've got the the tiny little tip on them, so I thought they're good for mandalas and stuff like that. Um, the colors are it's a pretty good range of colors. There's some like these. There's some pastels. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. And then let's get on to books. This is the most recent book I bought, the Mandala Mystery Book by Color Yeah. Um, it has a mandala and then it has a color palette down here and each color palette is different so like the one from this color palette is different than the one from this color palette um, which I think is really nice it keeps everything not looking the same um, great book I have one finish in here I'll show you in the next video um, I really enjoy this I, I like this book. I like mandalas and color by number is always fun and relaxing. So I'm very happy with this one. Next is Relax and Color Inverted Mandalas by Sun Life Drawing. Yeah. Um, so this is one where you just trace. You, you grab a gel pen or something and you just trace them. And I thought this would just be a good relaxing activity if I'm stressed um, I might take it on trips with me I'm not sure you know but it's it's I like the black background I think it would make colors really pop especially like um, I was thinking like these jelly roll moonlights they're they pop on black paper so I think it would look really good with this There's that. And then I've got 50 Diamond Mandalas Color by Number by Such and Such Diva. Um, excuse the glare, that's quite a big glare on there. The only thing I don't like about this book is how much it has curled. It has curled quite a lot. Um, presumably because of the black background on the other side. Um, but these are nice mandalas. Um, I've only started one and I haven't finished it. Um, I was using alcohol markers and they were having that much alcohol marker was a little bothering me a little bit so I might need to mix in some water based markers too. But um, but I like it. I like colored by numbers, I like mandalas and these are pretty. And then I've got this beautiful book, Mandalas with Beautiful Borders. Volume 1 by Nicola Lehman, and this is just a gorgeous book. I won't show you my finished page because that'll be for the next video, but we did one of these on video, so if you, you may have already seen it. But there's all these beautiful mandalas with borders, and they're just, and they're these really nice thick black lines. I love it. She's got at least one or two more volumes of this type of, of book. So if you like this one, you can check out the other ones. Oh, this one's so pretty with all the flowers. And some of them have words in them. Most of them don't. So there's that. I really like this one. This one is one that I already have. This is 
color by number animal stencils by Sun Life Drawing, but this is the premium paper edition. I found this on Amazon a while back and had it in my wish list. And now I love premium paper edition books. They're that glossy paper that markers go really well on. Um, I already have the regular color, um, the regular paper version of this, but I, I love the premium paper. So I had to get it. And I, I, I was almost done with the book anyway, so I get to do it again. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, let's see, it's that nice glossy paper. So um, I wish Sun Life Drawing had more of their color by number books in this paper. Um, I didn't find any other ones yet. But I'm really happy with this one. Then we've got Zendoodle Colorscape Secrets of the Sea. This is by Deborah Muller. And it's beautiful, beautiful. I'll try not to find the one I did. There's the one I did. Beautiful Under the Sea. Oh, that one's really pretty. Artwork by Deborah Muller. You know, she has she's an amazing artist. Again, um, I love her underwater themed coloring books. So I grabbed this one. I have a finished page in here, you'll see it in the next video. Oh, that one's cute. So that one, I really like that one. And then there's this one that I haven't touched yet. I bought this like a month ago. Um, Glorious Gardens Color by Number by George Tufexis. He's the one who does all of the these intricate um, color by numbers for Creative Haven. And um, I think I'd probably do this in colored pencil. Um, I'd have the most color range to try and match this color palette. Um, I think it, I've seen people do this in colored pencil and I think it would look really nice. So I just need to buckle down and get to it. I just haven't. It's a little daunting because it's so detailed, um, but I'll, I'll get to it. Um, so that's it for books. There's one more supply. I got these King Art gel sticks. Um, I have mixed feelings about these. Um, it's the metallic one. Sorry for the loud noise, guys. Um, most of these cases are broken. This one isn't. Um, like the latches on them broke off in, in transit, I guess. Um, excellent array of colors, which is why I got this set over like the shuttle art set, which was a little cheaper. Um, I plan to use these for um, mixed media in uh, junk journaling. That's really what I mainly got them for, but I tried them in a, um, a coloring book page. Um, may have been my last video that I did. And I was finishing up an old page and I had no idea what medium I had used and I just grabbed these and I, I colored into a little paint palette and added water and I was struggling with it. So maybe these are better if you color straight on the page and um, do it that way. But um, I probably won't use these for coloring anymore. Unless it may be like for backgrounds or something. But I think they are pretty cool and they were a pretty good deal. And um, I'll enjoy using them for junk journaling. So that's all for the coloring supplies. I've, I've also been busy doing other things, so if you want to see what else I've been doing, stick around. If not, that's okay. Um, I've been making bracelets. 
I showed off some of them in a previous video, but I'll just show you kind of what I've been working with. Um, I got this, I have, two, I have two of these. I stupidly bought two of them. These, these are huge, they're 328 feet each. I'm never gonna run out of elastic. Um, it's a Stretch Magic, it's a really good elastic. Um, so I've, I've made some bracelets with that. Um, I haven't used this yet. These are um, letter beads, gold, gold and white letter beads. I haven't used these yet, but I plan on making some stuff. These are um, spacer beads, gold spacer beads, just plastic beads. Here are, I like this little container this came in. These are glass, um, you know, they're meant to look like stones. They're um, glass beads. The holes on these are a little small. Um, the elastic would fit through, but I was, I made, I'll show you guys what I made with this stuff. I made this bracelet using quite a few different colors of those beads. Um, so I was putting this hemp cord through it and I, I struggled with that. Um, and then I put, I also got, I don't have these to show you, but I also got these magnetic um, clasps. They're, they're pretty strong. I'm pulling on, you know, you can't tell I'm pulling on this pretty hard and it's not coming apart. Um, <clears throat> so I made that bracelet with these. And then I've got these little plastic pearl beads, all different kinds of colors, really, really pretty mix of colors. And I made this bracelet with that. It's just kind of a rainbow of, of these plastic beads. And the holes on these beads are bigger, so they fit through the hemp cord really easily. And then I tied it off with um, a magnetic clasp. I like these ones a lot. I'm probably going to make more with this. Then I have these. Uh, these are just plastic seed beads. Um, I've made quite a few bracelets with these. I don't have all of them with me, but I made um, this stretchy bracelet, some of the more pastel colors. Um, I made a rainbow one, and then I had some other beads too, these um, star, I think they might have been, oh I can't remember, some kind of, maybe mother of pearl, um, stars, and I made this pride bracelet, it was, it was it's meant to be one I saw it on, online on um, a website, and I didn't want to pay. I wanted to make one for my aunt and I, but I didn't want to pay to buy two and then, so I just bought the supplies and made them myself and now I have all these beads. So, but that's my bracelet. Um, what else did I make with these? These, I made this hemp bracelet with the magnetic clasp. Um, I just did kind of a design. with a few different colors of blue. So I've used these ones quite a bit and there's still tons left. So I like these. And then last are these two ones here, which I've only made one bracelet out of, but I plan on making more. I wanna make, I wanna use these with the, um, these letter beads and these golden spacers. These came in a pack with both of these. Sorry. Um, these are clay beads. They feel kind of like rubber. They're a little bendy. Um, they're they're flat discs, and with a pretty good size hole in the middle. Um, Came with that color palette and 
that color palette so it came with a lot um, and I made this bracelet the starfish was gold it, it came with one of these sets of beads I don't know which one it was um, but the starfish and these gold beads have tarnished and they are now kind of a bronzy copper color which I'm, I'm okay with um, but this bracelet took up a whole lot of this um, light blue color right here so probably there's not enough in there to make another bracelet so there's not a ton of each one there's a lot but you know when you're using a whole bunch of colors for one bracelet you don't it fills it up pretty quick um, but then I mixed up some other colors in the front here um, but I really like this bracelet and I'd like to make more and I think it looks really cool and beachy and especially with the starfish so that's that's that I might have missed some other bead accessories that are floating around like these um, I, forgot, I forgot to bring over hang on these star beads that I bought I bought those the same time I bought these um, seed beads these ones are a little hard to close there we go I keep the foam in the top just to keep all the little beads in place when they move around um, oh yeah uh, that's what I've been doing along with coloring um, I haven't been done doing a ton of coloring I've, I've done coloring um, for videos and then that's about it so then I spend the rest of my time making bracelets apparently um, so yeah uh, look out for the next video I'm going to make which is my um, finished pages for May and June um, there should be several of those and um, yeah thanks for watching thanks for staying around if you if you watched my little bead haul um, yeah, um, you know the other things I bought this month that had nothing to do with coloring were paint and canvases. I painted quite a few pictures. Um, I haven't done that in a little while. That's kind of a bummer. So, and oil pastels. I bought myself oil pastels and I did some paintings with those. Um, so yeah. Um, I guess that's about it. I will see you guys soon for another video. I will film it before I, um, I'm leaving town in a, in a few days, so I'll film it before then and get it up. So for now, I will see you guys later, and bye!